Let's look at standard electrode potentials. So, what's the definition for standard electrode potential? It's the voltage produced by a half cell when it's connected to a standard hydrogen electrode under standard conditions. What are standard conditions? They are a temperature of 298K, concentration of 1.0 mole per decimeter solutions, and a pressure of 100 kilopascals. So this is a standard hydrogen electrode, okay? And you need to know the conditions for this. So we start off here with H2, which is hydrogen gas, okay? And the temperature is 298K and 100 kilopascals of pressure. So the solution in here is 1.0 mole per decimeter hydrochloric acid. Now you could either have that or 0.5 mole per deciliter of H2SO4 because it's diprotic, okay? You end up with this, one mole per decimeter of H+. It doesn't matter which acid you use as long as you have this one mole per decimeter of H plus ions, hydrogen ions, okay? You have a platinum electrode here, okay? And then the hydrogen gas bubbles down here and there's little holes to let the gas escape. And this equation here, this is the reduction equation, the H plus is being reduced. This equation depends on what you're connecting the electrode to, and we'll have a look at that a bit later, okay? The last point, the standard hydrogen electrode is assigned a value of zero volts, okay? So every other half cell is compared to the standard, standard hydrogen electrode. Okay, so here's how you, com you measure the voltage. On the left, we have a zinc half cell, okay? On the right, we have a standard hydrogen electrode, okay? Now the electron flow, the electrons flow from the zinc to the hydrogen uh, half cell on the right, okay? And the voltage we get when we do this, okay, is negative 0.76 volts. I know it says here, there's no sign here, but the sign is important, so I put at the top here, negative 0.76 volts and the electrons flow from the zinc to the hydrogen half cell and the overall equation is here you can see the zinc is being oxidized and the H plus ions are being reduced okay so why is that sign important well if the electrode potential is negative such as the zinc half cell we just looked at the electrons flow from the zinc half cell to the hydrogen half cell. On the other hand, if the electrode potential is positive, which would be the case if you connected a copper half cell, the electrons flow from the hydrogen half cell to the copper half cell. So how do you know this? Well, in the data booklet, you have a standard electrode potential table. Okay, so look at all these values here. They're all negative on the top half. Hydrogen is here. You can, you can see it's assigned a value of zero volts. Okay, so everything else is compared to that. So where's zinc? Zinc is here. Okay, so the electrons flow from the zinc half cell to the hydrogen half cell. Why is that? Well, zinc is higher up in the activity series. So it's a stronger reducing agent. Okay, so it will reduce the H plus ions to hydrogen gas, okay? And if we have a look at copper, Cu2+, plus, which is here, it's assigned a positive value, okay? So the electrons will flow from the hydrogen half cell to the copper half cell. Why is that? Well, you can see that hydrogen is above copper, okay? So hydrogen is a stronger reducing agent, so it will reduce copper, okay? Another important point, the, um, the ones at the top are stronger reducing agents, aren't they? Okay. And the ones at the bottom here, these are stronger oxidizing agents. Okay. And if we have a look at the sign, the more negative uh, value, okay, the more negative value here, 
these will be oxidized and if you go down again the more positive value these will be reduced okay let's calculate cell potential so we use this equation here okay now this circle with a line through it that means standard conditions okay so the equation is the cell potential equals the standard uh, electrode potential for the reduction half cell the half cell that's being reduced minus the standard electrode potential of the oxidation half cell okay or the half cell that's being oxidized so the uh, electrode potential values must be the reduction potentials as seen in the data booklet don't change the sign when you use this equation here okay and the second point is do not multiply according to the stoichiometry of the equation okay so for the zinc copper reaction now you should know that zinc is a stronger reducing agent okay so it will reduce copper therefore um, zinc will be oxidized okay so you need to know that before you can input the values here so I've determined that the reduction half cell will be the copper half cell so I put the 0 0.34 volts and I got this value from the data booklet okay minus brackets negative 0 0.76 volts which is the electro potential for the zinc half cell okay because that's being oxidized that equals plus 1.10 volts if it's a positive um, cell potential then it's a spontaneous reaction okay here's an example which you can try for yourself okay so if you make a voltaic cell from these two half cells okay calculate the cell potential so what you have to do is determine which one will be oxidized which one will be reduced and then use the equation in the previous slide to calculate the overall cell potential.